Good morning students, I am Nidhishtes Bhagalwadi, your science teacher, Sankalp Learning Solutions. In the last class, we learned regarding the resistance, we learned regarding what is resistivity. Today, we are going to solve certain numericals on the resistance and the resistivity. Then we are going to continue the concept of resistance, right? So, I took, I selected two problems here. One problem is from the textbook itself. Okay, in textbook problem. The other problem is from NCRT exercise problem. Like this you will get the numericals and you will be getting more challenging numericals which we will be discussing in our revision classes. Right? So to join my revision class, subscribe to Sankalp Learning Solutions in YT that is on YouTube. Okay. Um, Resistance of a metal. The first one is resistance of a metal wire of length 1 meter is 26 ohm at 20 degree Celsius. If the diameter of a wire is 0 0.3 millimeter, what will be the resistivity? So, they ask us resistivity or a rope. Okay. So, let us write what is given first. What is given here? The length is given. The length of the wire is given as uh, 1 meter and the resistance is given as 26 ohm. So, let us write what is given. Given is L is equal to 1 meter. Then we have 26 ohm means it is resistance. R is equal to 26 ohm. Then if the diameter, diameter is equal to 0 0.3 millimeter. Understood? Now, so as diameter is 0 0.3 millimeter, everything we want in a standard units, I am uh, converting this into meter. I am converting this into meter. So, what happens here? It is 3, 0.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Okay? So, 1 millimeter is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 meter. We know that, right? So, here again to simplify, I took as 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter, 3 by 10. 0.3 is 3 by 10. So, where 10 will go up, 10 minus 3 minus 1. So, I will get 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter. Then, what they asked us to find, they gave temperature at 20 degree Celsius. Indirectly, they are saying thus, uh, that the thing will be at a constant temperature you have to find. Then, so to find resistivity. So, what is resistivity? That is nothing but the rope. Solution. For the solution, let us write the formula of resistance. L by A into rho. Rho is nothing but the resistivity. So, for resistivity, we can solve it as R into A divided by L. R is resistance, A is area of cross section, L is length of a wire. So, A is area of cross section. It is a circular wire. So, wire, when you say the wire, the area will be circular, right? So, they did not give direct area. They have given the diameter. We know that the area of a circle when diameter is given is, so let, us, let me write here, area of a circle, of circle is equal to pi d square, where d is a diameter. So let us substitute here, r into pi d square divided by l. So r is given as 26 Pi is nothing but 3.14. We know this. D is nothing but 3 into 3 into 10 raised to minus 4. Let me write like this. It is not the correct way. 3 into 10 raised to minus 4. 3 into 10 raised to minus 4. That is D square. Divided by L is nothing but 1. So when we solve this. When we solve this. The answer, when we simplify and when we calculate, the answer we get is 1.84 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. Is it, it is a resistivity, it is ohm meter at, what is the temperature? 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. 
Then they asked us using table 12.2 predict the material of the wire. So in the textbook they have given you 12.2 table using which you have to write which material it is. Whether it is a uh, iron, whether it is a copper, you have to find it and you have to write down it. Okay. So we found the resistivity as 1.84 meter. This is not one. Okay. Uh, into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. Here we have to concentrate on the conversion of diameter into meter and on also the area. Area is not given directly. They have given in the form of a diameter through which we have to substitute the formula of area. Right? Next. The next one here is uh, the exercise question. Right, the question goes like this. A copper wire has diameter 0.55 millimeter and rho. Rho is nothing but a resistivity 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. What will be the length of the wire? We have to find here. So, let us write given first. So, here given is uh, D is equal to 0.5 millimeter. So, I will convert it into meter. So, it will become 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter. Right? Next, rho is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 8 ohm meter. Then, they have given resistance as 10 ohm. So, these are the given points. What we have to find? We have to find L. To find L. So here first we will take the resistance formula. R is equal to length divided by cross sectional area into rho. Or you can write rho first. So we want for L. So let us solve for L. L is equal to R will be here only. A will go this side. So, it will become R into A that is resistance into cross sectional area divided by L is at the numerator. So, it will uh, we are finding it no need to uh, cross uh, no need to shift it. So, we have rho in the numerator. So, if we shift here it will become at the denominator or it will come down R into A by rho. So, what is R here 10? What is area? Area is not given. So, we will take it as pi d square. Pi is 3.14. We know it. So, 3.14 into 5. Let me write here. It is not here. Yeah. 10 into. Okay. A is pi d square. 3.14 into. D is 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 into 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 because it is D square divided by rho is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 8. Okay, so when we take 5 into 10 raised to minus 4, 5 into 10 raised to minus 4, it will become 10 raised to minus 8. This one, this one, this one will get cancelled. So, when you simplify it, it will come around 1.22 into 10 raised to 2 meter. Okay. 1.22 into 10 raised to 2 meter. Again, when you simplify it, it will become 122 meter. So, length of the copper wire which is taken will be 122 meter. So, here we should write R into pi d square divided by rho. So, this is regarding how we have to solve the numerical problems in a step by step method. First, we have to write the given. Then, you have to write what you have to find. Then, you have to write the uh, suitable formula. Then, solve for the value. When you simplify, if you write the simplest answer, simplified answer, then it will be good because most of the key answer will be simplified. Or if you don't write the simplified form, only if you write this, this will be also correct. Okay. So, in the next session, we are going to learn a lot about the resistance and the resistors. How these resistors are connected. Okay. Whether only one resistor is enough to control the current or no. What is the combination? 
so that all we are going to discuss in the upcoming session it is a very important concept and you will get most applied questions on it so don't miss that session take care until that have a nice day bye bye